Greetings to you from Sri Rama Hospital, Jagaypet, Andhra Pradesh. Hello, I am Dr. Yogi Ram Balisanti from Sri Rama Hospital, Jagaypet. Now I demonstrate to you the method of making single hand knotting. So I will demonstrate the materials required and the technique of making the reef knots with the hand, then with the instruments and later to make a knot in a difficult situation like in a cavity. Thank you. Hello. I am Dr. Yogiram Balisati from Sri Rama Hospital, Jagaypet. Now I demonstrate to you the method of making single hand knotting. So I will demonstrate the materials required and the technique of making the reef knots with the hand, then with the instruments and later to make a knot in a difficult situation like in a cavity. Thank you. Knot. It is the fundamental technique of tying ligatures or switches and fastening a secure knot is the essential basic skill of every surgeon. There are four types of knots. One type is the reef knot. The second one is the granny knot. Both of them look alike. But the difference here is, see these loops, this is one loop on the left side, there is another loop on the right side. Into these loops, these strands are coming. So in the reef knot, for this loop, these two strands are situated superficial and these two strands go deep to this loop. In the, reef, the granny knot, these are the two loops. These are the strands. For this loop, one strand is coming in front, another strand is coming behind the loop. The same thing on this side. So both are not the same. The third one is the triple throw knot. It is the reef knot with additional third throw, which resembles the the third throw resembles the first throw. The surgeon's knot here. There are, for the first throw, there are two hitches, not one single hitch. The second and third throws have the single hitch. Out of these four types of knots, the granny knot is an insecure knot. That's why this granny knot is never used in surgical practice. Once you form the knot, the suture strands should always be pulled in exactly 180 degrees in opposite directions. That will make the knot to bed properly and to form a square knot. A square knot is a secure knot. But if you pull the strands not in 180 degrees in any other directions, then the result is an insecure knot. Insecure knot is a slip knot. It will slip when the tissue swell within the ligature. Hence, one should always try to fasten a square knot that is a secure knot. The principles of knotting the suture material should be as thin as possible depending upon the tissues to be sutured. The knot should be as small as possible. Extra ties do not add to the strength of the properly formed knot. The ends of the knot should be cut as short as possible to reduce the load of foreign body in the tissues. 
if you make more ties than that is required the strength of the suture material goes down extra friction should be avoided between the strands of the suture while forming the knots as it may cause fraying of the suture leading to weakening of the suture material after forming the first row loosening should be avoided by appropriate measures extra traction should be avoided on suture strands to avoid breaking of the strands all the knots should be either of reef, reef or surgeon's knot and should be a square knot. Hello, greetings from Sri Rama Hospital. This is Dr. Yogi Ram Balsetti demonstrating to you the method of making a reef knot and a surgeon's knot with the help of instrument. The materials required for this are a board like this with three coat hooks fixed to this with the help of a double sticker a suture material like a boot lace and a needle holder first I will demonstrate to you the method of making a reef knot take the suture in your left hand pass it underneath the tubes this is a saline tube IV saline tube which is fixed to this coat hooks. Now you pass this suture material under the tube. Now your assistant will hold the suture material for you to form a loop. Now the loop is formed. Into this loop you pass the needle holder. You must always pass it into this loop. You should not go from outside should not be like this should always be like this into this U you pass this needle holder now hold the long stand in your left hand the needle holder in your right hand turn the long strand around the tip of the needle holder now I am turning it in a clockwise manner hold the short strand and the first off hitch or first throw is formed now. Tighten it. When you are tightening it, make sure that both the strands are pulled exactly in the opposite direction at 180 degrees. Then only you are going to square the throw. A square throw is a secure throw. Now you have to form the second throw. Again, pass the needle holder into the slope. Don't go from outside. From the same direction you have to go. You should not go from this direction. It should be same direction. Now turn the long strand around the needle holder. Now I am turning it in the anti-clockwise direction. So one time you go it clockwise, another time you go it in the anti-clockwise direction. Now pull the strands again in the opposite direction at 1 degrees to form a square throw. Now a square reef knot is formed. For additional security we can now form a third throw. Again pass the needle holder into the loop. Turn the long strand in the clockwise. Hold the short strand and form the third throw. This is the triple throw reef knot. After the formation of the reef knot, you check the knot how it is. This is the loop. These are the strands. Both these strands are coming in front of the loop. Here they are going behind. That means it is a reef knot. Thank you.